to turn overseas now, where Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is now publicly rejecting U.S. calls for a Palestinian state in Gaza and the West Bank, even after Israel's war with Hamas is over. He calls it a permanent security threat. It's another sign that the U.S. and Israel have major differences over the conduct of this war and what to do after it. Meanwhile, American warships in the Red Sea continue to strike targets in Yemen in response to missile attacks from Houthi rebels there. And Charlie Daggett visited the USS Bataan, one of the Navy ships patrolling the region, hoping to protect against a wider war. Good morning. We're on the eastern Mediterranean Sea, which Israel, Gaza, and Lebanon all share a coastline with. It's the reason this ship and the Marines on board are here, to deal with whatever crisis may unfold in this ever-widening conflict. For the troops of the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit out of Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, the USS Bataan has been home for more than six months and counting. The USS Bataan had been in the Red Sea. It was then shifted to the Mediterranean because of the circumstances in this region. And now it's been deployed indefinitely. Four, five, three, an amphibious assault warship and a workhorse with a short flight deck capable of launching carrier fighter jets. The Bataan and its sister ships have been called the Marine and Navy Swiss Army Knife because of their versatility. Jets take off into the pitch dark overnight, a show of force, part readiness exercise, to keep pilots and crews sharp. All this maintenance underway and the takeoffs, that's not a drill. That's in direct response to the events unfolding throughout this region, not only as a deterrent, but ready to act if called upon. Ship to shore land and sea assault teams that includes a full contingent of roughly 4,000 U.S. Marines and sailors across the deployment. More than six months, getting a bit homesick? Um, I am going out, you know, with friends and spend time with family, you know, um, have my wings and pizza when I get back. They're in it for the long haul, even if nobody's quite sure how long that haul will be. Overnight, Houthi leadership threatened that retaliation for American and British attacks is inevitable. For CBS Mornings, Charlie Daggett aboard the USS Bataan on the Eastern Mediterranean Sea.